Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your April read. Let's see what energies are flowing towards you in April uh, Sagittarius and how we can use this read to have a beautiful month ahead. And of course Sagittarius, these are general collective readings, right? So just take what works for you and leave the rest. Welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Oh, we start with the Sagi card, King of Wands. Um, so as I was saying, welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And Sagittarius, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. All right, Sagittarius, Knight of Pentacles. Well, there is a lot of newness coming for you from what I see. I see you are, you are ready now. You're absolutely ready with your wand and you're looking forward to, well, accomplishing great things in your life. Uh, there are new offers coming for you in uh, April from what I feel. Maybe in the past you were a little hesitant or you were choosing between options or not feeling that balance or wondering what's going to happen. Well, as of now, and we're just a couple of days away from April, you are ready. You're ready. You're no longer, I think, going to flip-flop between this, that and the other or what I should do. Uh, going straight into April with a Knight of Cups uh, and maybe an offer coming towards you. Of course, I'll clarify all these cards. Uh, then we'll open the rest, uh, Sagittarius. But first and foremost, let's start with a Ganesha Oracle card. Let's see what Lord Ganesha has for the month of April for my beautiful Sagittarius gang. So, Lord Ganesha, for Sagis, please. Message. It's right here and it says, Joy. <laughs> Guess what? Aries got the same card. What is it with you, fire signs? <laughs> okay, so, well, happiness and joy coming into your life. Let's see what why that is. I... I'm going to read a couple of lines from, and I showed Aries also. I will have to show you as well. Uh, look closely. Lord Ganesha is using that uh, garland as a hoopla. Bringing some fun and joy in your life is going to be really, really good for you. That's when the fresh new energies begin, right? So make sure you spend some time actually enjoying yourself in April. It's going to shake up that stagnant energy and, well, maybe move things along. Let's see, page 47, 47, so it's going to be a good uh, month coming up for the fire signs, 47, 47 is page 81 and the message here is, Joy is the state of heart and soul. Joy happens when the heart and soul unite. The union is to achieve expansion for a greater good related to your divine path. Joy can create in you a sense of contentment, acceptance and serenity. Even when your life is in a flux, you feel, see I told you, life is life in a flux. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're coming out from. You feel a deep knowing that whatever might happen will be for your highest good for all involved. When you have this knowledge in you, it brings spiritual determination. Even through difficult circumstances, such as those that you may be currently be going, undergoing, you will ultimately find your happiness. Through this card, Lord, Lord Ganesha acknowledges your stress and exhaustion as you work to adapt to the new patterns of behavior and release your old stories. You may not be happy right now, but you can experience joy in knowing that striving through a difficult situation is important. You are urged to realize that you came into this lifetime to undergo certain experiences and to learn very specific life lessons. Be honest with yourself. Allow yourself your feelings and emotions. Remember that if your heart is feeling wounded and its healing is taking place, you are likely grappling with deep feelings and sentiments that may have even been repressed in you for lifetimes. Share your thoughts, feelings, emotions, anxieties with those who can support you at this time. Joy will be the final outcome. So that's coming up in... Uh, um, April. The, your energy and your inner light are shifting to reveal your life's grand plan. In this card, Lord Ganesha holds a garland made of Iruku flowers, which have the ability to eliminate negative energy from the body and mind of a person. 
in your mind's eye make an offering of garlands made of iroku flowers to lord ganesha in exchange lord ganesha blesses you with good health and freedom from all anxieties all right great please take a closer look to the card with lord ganesha and the garland of iroku flowers the sagittarius and just offer the same back to lord ganesha let's also take an angel blessing card for you and see what my angels have are going to bless you with for the month of april so my angels what do you have for my saggy gang for april confidence confidence you coming back to a power to your power sagittarius come back into your confidence dance joy uh, rejoice enjoy your life change things around this this is no time april is going not going to be a time for should i should i not what should i do no come back into your power okay so here it is confidence and joy beautiful two cards for uh, the month of april now let's see what's going on in your cards so currently spirit i have uh, for the current energy i have the king of wands for sagittarius what does that mean okay one more oops oops that's too many spirit I'll just take the ones which were straight one more ah okay so it seems uh, you've been through some kind of heartbreak in the past uh, sagittarius but uh, you have to make that choice now are you going to feel ungrounded are you going to feel unstable or are you going to this this moment this is your current energy or are you going to take back your power with all your confidence and say hey i'm the bringer of my happiness in my life i'm going to work towards what i want i'm i'm a passionate energetic being and i am going to take care of me from this minute onwards the minute you start focusing onto yourself uh, sagittarius is when movement starts okay i have a feeling you have some personal goals which you'll be, you're going to be accomplishing after a period of indecision so what was this indecision all about spirit what's this two of pentacles in the sagittarius's recent past two of pentacles yeah see two of pentacles two of wands which direction should i go should i choose this path or should i choose that path if you've been in that kind of flux of energy i think this will be a time to cut out, cut that out cut out that heartbreak cut out that feeling that what if i don't accomplish it i'll be hurt no take back your confidence take back your power you are the king of wands this now okay now no i mean this is even before uh, april you have to gear yourself up start preparing start preparing yourself for you yourself are enough to accomplish everything that you desire okay so what's coming up uh, in april then spirit what's coming up in april what's this uh, knight of cups what's the knight of cups for uh, sagis oh my god okay okay knight of cups knight of cups balance is coming back see the two of wands that was there in your past is now in the reverse you are going to be given many many offers okay so don't go back into this flux of what should i choose what should i choose there's going to be one offer which is going to be standing like above all the others it's going to be a very very good offer for you it's going to put you put you into action mode immediately many offers coming your way sagittarius once again i'm telling you lots of offers coming your way but don't go back into this flux of which one there is going to be one which is going to make you emotionally feel very happy it's going to make you feel excited about pursuing and that is going to bring harmony and balance back into your life okay so don't worry this is a card of 
getting out of conflict, not allowing other people to make your decisions or have the power to maybe put you down or uh, not make you feel important. So it's going to be the end of that. You on your own, maybe the angels are helping you here. I don't know. But look at the balance coming back. Whatever this up and down energy is, is going to be balanced out in uh, April. So let's see, what should my Sagittarius gang hold on to? Uh, Sagittarius, luck is on your side in April. The Wheel of Fortune is already here, okay? It's going to start rolling even if you don't see it. It's here for April. So Spirit is saying, hold on to that belief that things are changing or luck is in your favor now. Always remember, uh, Sagittarius, there, there is a wheel. It goes up, it goes down, it goes sideways. So maybe this time for April... Well, you're going to be on top of your game. Luck is on your side. Offers are coming towards you. So what's the wheel of fortune for... Uh, why should uh, Sagittarius hold on to this? Uh, oh my God, Ace of Wands. <laughs> So, there is some creative, passionate new beginning coming for you, which is going to be very, very lucky and a good opportunity for you to push forward. So, hold on to this. Don't, don't let that go. Don't second guess yourself. Believe that the, you know, the universe is bringing you something positive, which is going to now propel you into the future. So, Spirit, um, what uh, should Sagittarius let go of? let go of being so burdened, feeling the weight of the world is on your shoulders, maybe past baggages, let all that just slip away now. See, I asked the question, what should Sagittarius let go when I get the ten of wands? Too much responsibility, feeling bogged down, feeling, uh, well, you can't see the uh, you know, the path ahead of you because you have so much to do. So, let go of uh, Clarify this for me, Spirit. Ten of Wands, why should uh, Sagittarius let go of this? Because that's what's going to stop you from seeing your luck, the Wheel of Fortune. This is in reverse now, see? If you, if, if you have to see your opportunities. Don't let the small things in life bog you down where you can't see the opportunity which is sitting, facing you. So, what uh, Spirit... Um, can become Sagittarius' biggest blockage. Knight of Swords. Well, just being rash or running around and maybe f tending to too many fires or um, not thinking before speaking. All these are characters of the Knight of Swords. So, if, uh, well, maybe that's the message for you, Sagittarius. Uh, this can become a blockage sometimes. So, Think before you speak, think before you act and don't be in a rush to accomplish or go towards things which you haven't, uh, you know, kind of thought about or given mind to. Uh, what's this Knight of Swords spirit? Why can this become a blockage? Even arguments and fights, spirit saying. Yes. Yeah, Spirit says, we are give, giving you the power this month. This, this was your first card as well, right? We are putting you on, the, on a throne this month. But uh, make sure that uh, in the excitement of this new beginning, you don't, well, argue or uh, fight or uh, create conflict where there is no need because that is going to push you right back into the wrong direction. Okay? Uh, I'm sure you understood what I said. So, how will people be seeing my Saji gang in the month of April spirit? As the magician. As the magician. Making your own luck. May own. People are going to think you, you know, you're accomplishing all these new things coming into your life by magic. But it's not magic. You know it, Sajis. I know it. You've been through it and how. And you've been confused. And you've been wondering how to get this done. But you are, well... A fire sign you don't give up so well people are going to be seeing you as accomplishing very good things out of thin air why why will people be seeing my saji gang as the magician spirit in april 
because you're going to be standing your ground yeah you're going to be standing your ground you are yes it's a brand new beginning for you sajis you're going to be taking risks you will you'll be leaping off cliffs and saying i know the universe is going to catch me but don't do it in this manner okay you go do it trustingly do it in a you know positive way don't jump like the knight of swords who goes all rash and angry and tired of fighting and this that and the other so this is going to be the end you cutting off any anything or anybody or any situation which has brought injustice to you that's how people are going to be seeing you taking your power back and saying i'm not going to allow things not to move in my favor because i deserve it it's going to be at the end of all that at least that's how your pe close people are going to be seeing you and yes being a magician and charging on to a fresh beautiful brand new beginning and this is from the universe when you get the full card it's like universe blessing you with a new cycle of your life it will almost look like magic to other people so what's your secret message for my saji gang then uh, spirit ace of cups beautiful i think uh, sagittarius aces are always uh, beginnings right so self love self admiration self care is going to be very important uh ace of cups why is that your secret message spirit for my saggy gang in the moon one more queen of wands king of wands queen of wands what is happening with these uh, fire signs they're getting all these beautiful cards but um, well i think it's time to take care of you now it's time to take care of you um, things will maybe are getting revealed now or things are coming out in the open maybe your fears you are uh, something that you have to also get over now sagittarius don't repeat cycles where you continue to carry burdens which are not yours or which bog you down or irritate you um you don't have to be a warrior all the time that you know this is like the warrior card battered and bruised i'm going to do the same thing again and again and again and this time i'm going to succeed no spirit says you know if something has not been working out doing the same thing the same way so many times i think it's time to let it go don't repeat cycles of your past behavior it's time now for you to spring out do try something new maybe even even for yourself it could be getting a new haircut maybe buying new clothes for yourself or trying some new makeup or you know um, something that makes you feel attractive and good self care self love is very very important in the month of april it will give you a lot of confidence and make you feel very happy as well so yes that's the secret of uh, having a great month going ahead first and foremost take care of you get your confidence back what what is the queen of wands do sagittarius tell me one thing the character of this card is somebody who is hot they enter a room and people turn around to look at, look at the queen of wands and say who's that it this is a head turner and what gives you that it's not actually it's actually it's not clothes and makeup and hair it's the confidence that a person exudes from inside so well square up put your shoulders back head held high and walk into a room and see how people respond to you then don't second guess yourself i think that's the entire message that i'm feeling don't second guess yourself you are now entering a new phase of your life move and move towards that with confidence okay all right so that's all i have for you sagittarius till next time then love and light take care namaste